Hey guys, Pat fan. I'm gonna show you a little video, kind of a quick process, how to make a handle machinima in 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes, whatever I get to. Um, so the basic idea of this is there's plenty of better tutorials out there, and um, I don't want to just flood the space with more tutorials, stuff you've already seen. So I'm basically just gonna go through mine fairly quickly and give like a few like of my tips and just show you the process out of pure interest maybe I don't know this is more or less just because I wanted to I could screen capture my desktop with fraps so I'm kinda playing with that so first I'll show you my uh, capture software it's with um, it's the one that came with the Hophog HD PVR Total Media Extreme and then record video you're gonna have to get the, the HD PVR, and I'm sure it's dated at this point. But um, all right. So why is it being used? All right. I'm probably have to stop fraps and then run the other side of this. But so this is it, and normally you'll see the screen of my Xbox right there. Um, all right. I'm gonna cut over to the Xbox and start uh, talking about that side of it. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Alright guys, uh, now I'm switching over. I have a different mic situa situation set up. Uh, it's not worth explaining, so we gotta do uh, custom games. Make sure the network is my Xbox console, so it's local. Uh, we'll do a level with a uh, vehicle. I guess we'll just do this. And then we'll do, I think, hemorrhage is. Uh, um, let's set loads. Game tape, okay. We'll do a capture the flag, make a quick little video, and it looks like the red team's captured the flag. So it's loading. Um, yeah, pretty much, I don't know, I've done so much Halo Machinima, I do a lot of these kind of little things without thinking about it, so you might see me do something and you don't understand what I did or don't understand why I did something. You can just ask in the comments. Um, so this is usually my whole proceed process I go in with one, I do it all by myself. I haven't um, had someone help me since the, the JT, this is JT of Shinra app, which is a long time ago. And that turned out pretty good and had some really cool shots, but it was a headache. It took about 20 minutes to get 30 seconds of footage with all these people. It was really, really difficult. Right. So to lower the weapon is your uh, reload, grenade, thumbstick down on the d-pad right. so we'll start we'll start up on top of this he runs down and he grabs the warthog and he goes and grabs the flag so he goes down I have a nice drive it's the beauty of Halo Machinima puppeting is just playing the game Got some good air. There should be a good little clip there. Right, let's pretend he comes up blazing. Throws a nade in there. Reloads. Goes in shooting. There's no flag. Alright. Did I choose even the right game mode? Or is the flag on the top? Alright, that makes things awkward. So there's nothing there, but let's pretend he comes. I don't know. <laughs> this kind of just ruined the flow I had. I guess I picture the wrong capture flag. So he comes up here, blazes away. All right. It doesn't need to make sense. It's more of the process. The cinematic aspect you guys can take care of in the continuity of whatever. Ah, kind of disappointed me, but I was just going and I was really like, fuck, I'm gonna have to, I'd have to carry this flag all the way back. So even if I did, even if the flag was there, I don't know what I would have done. But, uh, I guess that's a lose lose. But it's not a deal. Alright, now we go to theater. Start the film. Make sure you only have one person in your party. 
or no, you're not split screen if you had a pop like another controller as a puppet. All right. This fast forward is right trigger. If you fast forward, push pause, let go, fast forward so that you haven't hold anything. Don't really need to do in this case because there's not much to to skip through. All right. You use Y to just uh, detach, and then you use the thumbsticks and bumpers to go up and down. Uh, this changes the depth of field. Uh, right clicking changes the depth of field. Um, so I guess we'll just do a little little shot like this of him running down. All right, he runs to the right or to the left. How do you do that? Back on the D-pad. A lot of this is tricky. Okay. I'm gonna start moving the camera. And then a lot of this stuff is try on air. Alright. So I always make sure I have some overlapping so I can choose when I want to make the cut. I'm really not going for much here, just getting some coverage. Throwing a cool depth of field shot here. Yeah, I'm gonna do like a craning kind of thing. It's not as smooth as I would have liked it. Do it one more time. Alright, I think that's good enough for now. So I come along the right. Alright, just gonna do a little I'll try the action so they can follow this well. Okay. See the thing is a lot of okay, that's the a lot of these you gotta start moving before you push play to keep up. See if I can do this, time this up. A little too early, try one more time. Ugh, gotta get my camera straight first. Wow, way too early. There we go. It's gonna be really hard to do. I'll just get the landing. Okay, it looks like it hits about here. Get it nice. That's. Let me get that. It's gonna be an awkward cut, but I'll just keep it here. Try it one more from the right. This might end up being like a 20 minute video instead of 10, like I said before. It's still a pretty good turnaround for Machinima. Alright, so I'll do the I'll end this shot, or like the next shot where you get to have. Alright, that actually looks pretty kind of cool how it slides forward. Yeah, let's do that, like right here. See, the advantage of machine is you can go and choose where you want to end your shot and what looks cool. So, here comes the car. I'll get a nice closer shot of him charging. Okay, now we're back at my uh, desktop. We'll, uh, open up Sony Vegas. I got this uh, for like the let's plays and like things that are quick. I make I have this, this file called Canvas, and uh, I just kind of have like temporary things. I have a little collection video here you guys might enjoy, but uh, it doesn't matter because that's what we're here for. So. Let's just get this over here. All right, so I'll just do a quick one through run through of uh, Sony Vegas and many editing programs are like this. You have the preview area. You can uh, go through it at different things. I think you can record voice, or you can record sound here. It's really shitty though. But it's good if you're trying to like 
just have something to reference and have kind of like a, I don't know. Uh, here's your timeline, we, I'll put the clips, this is the uh, Explorer area, the different tabs, you get like solid colors and stuff, transitions, video effects, mainly only use the color corrector here, and the uh, chroma key. So um, I have my file on the desktop, I named the folder, where is it? You gotta refresh, you gotta always refresh to your Explorer. Alright, here's the file. Alright, I, I recorded the whole thing, so I gotta get to the part where we went to theater. Okay, here we are. And I'm using the scrubber to go through. You can also use the arrow keys, but that's more frame by frame. So that's pretty slow. Alright, we'll call this good. Um, to cut, you just push S. Um, Alright, let's see. Let's get a little color corrector. See how it's kind of... I get a good image to stop and look at. Where's the... Alright, using the arrow key to... You can move frame by frame. Okay. Stop right there. Let's check out these... Uh, see, even just that alone makes it look a little bit prettier. Let's see, at before, after. A little vibrancy. Um, and then you see, see has a little black line. For some reason, sometimes the uh, folders don't work. I mean, not the folders, the files aren't rendered the right size. So you click on the event, event pan crop, or you can right click um, video event pan crop, and just ever so slightly adjust it. Alright, why isn't it moving? It must be locked. Yeah, there we go. Jesus. Alright. So you gotta play with both sides of it. Uh, Alright, got it. See? Now it looks nice and consistent and pretty. Um, anything else? Any other housekeeping? I don't think so. So, let's find the first shot I like. Let's see how this one looks. Start my cut there. Right now, start it here. Alright. Delete those. The garbage. Right, this playback's a little choppy. It's kind of disappointing. Alright. Looks like. And it's about here. This is, a, this is how I do it. There's different ways.